Hi, I'm the Barbecue Butcher. In today's video, we have a giant slab of Karara Wagyu. The cut we have in front of us is the Bowler Blade. It's not the most glamorous piece of beef out there. Uh, it's not the most sought after piece, but what we're gonna do, what I do with it, and I'm gonna show you what we do with it, and how to fix it up and make it one of the coolest slow cooked beef cuts there is. So, in the corner here, when it comes off, it has a big, big gristle part or a tent. It's connected to one of the tendons. So we're going to have to trim that off. But before we go to that, we're going to start off what, what was connected to the bowler. And if you come over this side, uh, the last video we did was the cross cut or the flat iron stake, which was actually came off here. And you can see that awesome marbling there. So that's going to run through this. This is the same piece of meat that we took off from the, the flat iron stake. So this is really cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to this corner here and take out this big piece of gristle. This is on every bowler. It's just, just part and parcel. So we'll just make a couple of lines there. So that's pretty much the distance what we're going to cut it out. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So just put your knife under, come forward, and again, and you can see it. See so that, you could cook it, but hey, take it out, it's not worth it. And we're just gonna take this big piece of gristle here. And last bit in there, we'll dig it out. It's really easy. Like that, trim it all up, and that just takes it out, and it's gone. I wouldn't use that stuff there for sausages. Um, again, if you mince it up, it's still going to come out really, really chewy. It's not advised. I'll just ch cut that up and uh, give it to my little friend beside me who's waiting to be fed at the end of the video. <laughs> but uh, we'll get back to him. So, so you've trimmed that all up there. Spin it over. Just, just have a look on the underside as well. There's any there that you're not happy with? Again, just take it off. Um, it has breaks down into these little bits here. Trim those off if you want. I'm not going to because we're going to cook that all. Yeah. So okay. So then we're going to flip them back over, straighten them all up, so make them look look nice. But then you can see the marbling coming through already. It's pretty cool. And again, this is probably one of the, if not the cheapest cut off of beef the bowler because it's very hard to use it's it's yeah it's you've got to use it for a slow cooked meat um, it used to be used for casseroles uh, bits and pieces like that so for beef this is great so come in about my hands length and we're gonna make a giant roast straight down Where's the, bowler? the bowler comes from the shoulder um, I can't really show you <laughs> on, on my back here. So it's connected to the shoulder and the scapula, and that's what a bowler is. So that's why it's not the most uh, glorified piece of meat there is. There is marbling in it, as you can see. So that's pretty cool. Nice covering of fat. So once we cook that for about three hours, it'll be great. And then on the last piece here, you can get another roast out of it. So straight down there. Again. Just straighten it up if you want to make it. This stuff here, these are really good for off cut, so you can use these for sausages. We've got some videos of sausage making coming up, so that's pretty exciting. People have asked. And again, I'm going to put that there uh, on the barbecue, but my go-to rub that makes everything really brilliant with Karara Wagyu is the Rum and Q Bull Dust. It's my go-to rub for, for the Karara. It makes everything perfect. So. Remember to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed my video and I'll catch you next time.